Hi all you YouTubers out there. Uh, I'm going to show you how I created uh, this kind of Spyro type line image. It's, uh, it's uh, all created uh, using paths and uh, these uh, two scripts that are uh, created by Oafnut. He makes his really great path tools. You can pick them up at this uh, web address, this uh, link here. I'll put it in the description. The two paths I'm going to be using. Uh, the most important one is the paths in betweener. 0 0.2 the py means it's a Python file. You have to place these files in your plugin folder, user, your your GIMP user plugin folder. Anyway, um, this is we're gonna have an image similar to this when we're through. Okay, I opened up a canvas. The uh, six. 40 by 400 which is the default canvas for GIMP and uh, filled it with black just like that. Now I just take a path, path tool just create a simple path just for the first one well for this one create a path like that and the important part is when you create the paths that you have the same amount of nodes. The nodes are the anchor points that are on the lines. So if say you add an anchor point by pressing uh, the CTRL key. See so you can add a button, I mean um, a node. So we add a node there. So now we have a path with three nodes on it. Now I'm going to select the pen tool just to get out of uh, that path and create, we're going to create our second path. So we go like this, one, two, go like that. Now we need three nodes so I'll just add another node here. And there we have our two paths. Now I'm going to use the in-betweener script to generate the intermediate paths in between both paths. So let's just do that. Uh, I had this set up from before, but this will have to change. We want it to go from number one, from unnamed number 158, which is this one to unnamed 52 which is this one so the path will be generated this way going this way here see the path will be going it will be generating paths in between this space here and we want it to be linear and no guides and guide paths this is the correct guide paths ok click ok and there are generated our in-between paths. Now the next script I'm going to be using is uh, the stroke or fill path uh, script or Python plugin. Um, you don't have to use that script. You can uh, go click and merge visible paths. The paths in between are script also leaves the two original paths on you know turned off so the eyes are turned off so because you don't really need those those were used to generate this path so you can merge them and stroke them normally by just using uh, whatever color you want and if you, you create a layer like that and then on top of your black layer stroke this I would say by one 
this isn't normally how I do it I'm just showing you an option if you don't want to install that script you will need the in-betweener the paths in-betweener script in order to generate all these paths but anyway let me just stroke this and there it goes let's turn this eye off and that's what basically you get from that now I'm going to go back and show you the script the uh, stroke visible path script stroke uh, or fill visible path now I'm going to use the foreground color but I need to choose a brush I got a one dot brush here which I'm going to use which is already selected if you stroke it with anything larger I'll show you what happens if you don't change the brush and you leave it say on a default brush which I don't know let's say it's this one or uh, that one and you, you stroke it I'll show you what happens all these settings are set up the way I want foreground color which is like a medium gray I want it to stroke not to fill. I want a single layer, not multiple layers, just one layer. And I want it to be a hundred percent opacity with a transparent background. So if I click OK with the wrong brush selected, watch. That's what we get. That's not what we're looking for. So let's undo stroke, change the brush to a one by one dot brush. If you don't have one, uh, you'll have to make one or get it from somewhere. Uh, I made this one by one dot brush myself. Uh, so, that's, if you don't have that, use the smallest brush you have to stroke the, the uh, paths. With the, uh, now with, with the, uh, fill. I will repeat the stroke or fill visible paths script. Just click on it and I have the brush set to the one to the one by one dot and there it goes it stroked it. See stroke or fill visible path. Now turn off all these eyes of the path. Turn off their visibility. You click shift hit the eye and it turns off all the uh, paths visibilities except for uh, the top one you to turn them back on you just press shift and click the eye again so you press shift click the eye turns off all but the one you clicked on so you can turn that off and that's what we have now you can color that also you add a new layer on top get a gradient I have a gradient here that I made it's called beach night you can use that gradient just uh, stroke it however you like and set the layer mode to overlay you can now do a new from visible and once you do that you can put that on dodge to brighten that up or not maybe you can want to duplicate the color layer the gradient layer or duplicate the, path, the stroke paths layer to give it a bolder look so there's a lot you can do but that's basically how I did it anyway I'll leave uh, links in the description so you can pick up those uh, Python scripts or plugins whatever you want to call them I think they're Pythian scripts anyway uh, thanks for watching